Oi, welcome to Command and Conquer Red Alert 3. I'm an Allied Guardian tank, and these prats and I are here to tell you about how we think you should be doing your job. Sir. Yes, we've temporarily called a truce to make sure you do not send us to our deaths needlessly. To begin with, we will tell you how to move your viewpoint around the battlefield and how to command your units, including the best ones, such as me, the Soviet Hammer Tank. Just look at this body compared with the teeny little Japanese tank to my left. Shut up! Ow! Please excuse him, sir. Let us begin. Oh, blimey. Right, okay. To move your camera around the battlefield, just hold down the right mouse button and slide your mouse around. Try moving your camera now. You may also move your cursor to the far edges of the screen. Easy enough. Now, to rotate the camera, hold down the middle mouse button and move the mouse around. Try rotating your camera now. To zoom the camera in and out, simply slide your mouse wheel. Try zooming your camera now. As you go about fussing with the camera, sir, remember you can always click the middle mouse button to reset the viewing angle. My goodness, Commander. You have completed your first objective. Right proper, you have. Objectives, as you might have surmised, are special goals you need to accomplish in order to progress through the campaigns. In general, objectives will be labeled using special markers out on the battlefield. Follow the on-screen indicators to get to them. If at any time you're not sure what the blazes you're supposed to be doing, hit the escape key to pay a visit to the mission menu. It'll list all your current objectives. Good. Now that you have an idea for how to move around the battlefield, let's move on to controlling your units. Here come some of our hated enemies now. Right, to select a unit, just left-click on it. Try selecting one of these allied peacekeepers. Nice. He's definitely one of ours, sir. You may also hold down the left mouse button and drag your mouse. This will create a selection box. Any units inside the selection box will be selected. And if you want more units added to your selection, hold down the shift key and drag a selection box around those units. Okay, now that we've reminded you how to select units, you'll need to move them around the battlefield. Ow! I was getting to that. <clears throat> To move your units, whilst having them selected, click the right mouse button on any open terrain. Try moving your units to the designated area up ahead. Check. En route. Tempor check. En route. Obey you without question. Notice, Commander, how the darkened area of the battlefield revealed itself as your forces drew near. This darkened area is the fog of war and represents parts of the battlefield that may be hiding enemy troop movements. Be careful when venturing into unseen areas and use your scouts to survey the terrain before committing your forces. Now, up ahead are some dummy targets that you are going to destroy. They resemble real-life Soviet conscripts but I assure you they are merely robots we created for this exercise. See how foolishly they behave? They seem so real. Observe that you can distinguish your forces from the robots based on the colored blips in the radar in the upper right corner of your battlefield control display. The color of the blips refers to the color of the different sides involved in a battle. If you encounter different colored blips as you clear the fog of war, those are likely enemy forces, so be prepared. Um, right. So, to issue an attack order to your units, whilst having them selected, put your cursor over a target and click the right mouse button. Notice that as you move your mouse cursor over those dummies, it changes to an attack cursor. Destroy all the target dummies in the area. He's done. Right here. Keeping the peace. Contact! Consider it done. So long, you stupid robots. Bloody robots. Now, 
in addition to issuing attack commands on specific targets, you can have your units move and attack any enemies along the way. To issue an attack move command while having your unit selected, just press the A key and right click on any open terrain. You can issue attack move orders on the radar as well. Now look there. We need you to lead us to that strategic point, yet many robots stand in the way. If you please, issue an attack move order to strategic point. You have the command. Lead us to victory! Unit. On alert. Peace out. away. Now that's a fine job you did there, Commander. You now know how to move around the battlefield as well as how to make your forces shoot their enemies dead. Indeed. We suggest you move on to the next lesson on building a military base for further instruction on properly commanding an army. See you there!